Hello, I'm Mr. Hartgrave, and I'm possessed by Marvel Strike Force. That's right, this week, Mephisto has taken over Marvel Strike Force with his demonic, satanic influence. And I am going to bring you all of the information from the blog. We're going to break it down. We are going to go over what you need to build for Dark Dimension 7. That's right. We're going to make our first plan for Dark Dimension 7. Plus, we are going to do a deep dive into some cosmic crucible and figure out some brand new counters for that. But before all of that... I'm going to play you this. This video is being sponsored by Scarlet Spider Comics. This toe-sucking piece of crap, low-life dirt bag stole their comics. The good news is you can help them and it won't cost you a dime. All you have to do, scan that QR code or click the link down below. It's going to get you a free $15 credit to use with Scarlet Spider Comics. There are no strings attached. I would not attach strings to this. I'm not the kind of person to be attaching strings, okay? I am telling you that with this QR code or with this link down below, you will get a free $15 that you can use on whatnot any way you see fit. Now, shipping rates will apply. However, shipping rates are usually pretty low, especially with Scarlet Spider Comics. They run auctions every Friday at midnight, midnight giveaway auctions. They are giving away free comics. I am not fucking with you. I'm not kidding with you. You would think, oh, there's probably some catch. There's no fucking catch free comics okay this isn't some fly-by-night bullshit guys scarlet spider comics has been supporting this show for literally years you don't even have to show up to the auction to use the credit if you go to the show that is coming up next and you go to the shop and then you go to buy now it'll show you their extensive inventory of comics and it's showing up very poorly on the screen but if you go there you can see the covers and their prices and you can see there's lots of comics here for under $15. And I know a lot of you have already collected that credit. Please, if you've already collected the credit, go use it until you use it. It doesn't benefit Scarlet Spider Comics. And it also helps support the channel. But you know what? Because I heard about this incident with the robbery, I am actually going to be giving all of the proceeds that would go towards me normally over to Scarlet Spider Comics. So go help them out um and and you know what it'll just do us all good because what a crappy thing to happen to nice people make sure you go to scarlet spider comics collect your 15 dollars credit if you haven't already and if you have make sure you use it with them help them out they are still kind of trying to rebound from that uh theft and uh, any bit you can do to help out uh, they, they also they run live auctions uh they're on Fridays and on the weekends. If you join one of those, they have a tip option as well. Um, we're trying to do as much for them as possible as they try to rebuild their lives after that. It actually was a pretty big hit from them. Uh, it's a pretty small shop, so every little bit you can do really helps. This week, it's the devil and his details. So let's get into this and let's see how many times they mention Satan in this because I'm kind of excited about it. Of course, if you want all the math on this, I already did a video with Big Positive Geek. Make sure you check that out. It's got the devil on the cover because we're really into demonic, satanic things around here. Sorry, everybody. More about that later. Uh, anyways, uh, Mephisto, the devil is in the details. And this week, that's literally true as we're bringing you the demonic details for Mephisto. <laughs> See how much fun they're having with this, guys? Are you really threatened by this? This is really triggering people out there. Mephisto is an extra dimensional demon who rules a pocket dimension. He calls hell and often poses as Satan, although he is not the Satan, which is which is great. The blog writers are literally acknowledging the existence of Satan. He seeks to rule the world and enjoys cutting deals in exchange for souls. So uh, I, I'm pretty excited that Mephisto is coming into the game, although I do have a video about him and what he does, and I don't feel that he's powerful enough. I don't feel that his kit is going to really up in the game the way a character of his magnitude would, the way Apocalypse did. Um, the way Super Scroll has even, I, I don't know guys, he does not seem strong enough to me, 
But go check out that video and uh, you make the call. What is going to shake up this game and in that same video, if you haven't seen it, is Cabal. Cabal is fucking devastating, guys. Crazy good team for Cosmic Crucible. And I'm very, very excited about it. And if you didn't catch the, the take home is build Namor. Build Namor now. I've already put two diamonds on him. I'm going to put a third on there. It is fucking crazy so i'm doing that um he's a really really good character check out that video and i'll have more cosmic crucible footage coming up too showing up how badass this team is it's a really badass team and he's definitely gonna fact this whole team's gonna factor in to my dark dimension plans to that effect i need to make sure i write down what these guys are gonna be that's the most important thing to know about them right now are their traits so Iron Patriot, he is going to be global tech. So you're going to want to put him into your dark dimension plans. And uh, leader, you'll also want to make sure you pick up their uniques and all that good stuff. You'll want to take him to tier 18 right away. He is going to be global and bio. So make sure you check them out. Add them to your roster immediately. And the thing is, they don't need anybody else. Don't worry. They It's a three-person team. There's no fourth and fifth. And they don't need it. They are insanely powerful as a trio. You can basically add anybody as a fourth and fifth. They're nuts. They're going to have a showcase coming up. Make sure when the showcase comes out that you do the trial difficulty. Even though it's pointless and stupid, there's usually a good amount of gold on the test drive. So make sure you do that. Um, yeah, it's going to have uh, Namor shards. So if you don't have Namor, they're going to be on that test drive. There's going to be gold and uh, some raid orb fragments on there for purple and blue gear, which can be a really big help for uh, new and mid-game players. So very exciting team. Also, this might be the cheapest showcase ever. If you want to complete the challenge which doesn't seem to have any demonic gear on it, which is unfortunate. They should put some demonic gear on there. But this is going to be the cheapest one because it only has three characters. Most of these have five. This one's going to have three. So that's something to think about if you want to do that cost-benefit analysis. Here's where they mention that they've uh, totally pushed out and decided to call demonic gear, crimson gear, to appease, like, I think it's literally only like 5% maybe 1%, maybe 0.1% of the Marvel Strike Force player base. But here we are, demonic gear no more. However, on this channel, it will always be demonic gear because we are evil as fuck. Hail Satan. Um, new incursion difficulties are coming. So uh, go ahead and uh, get ready for those if you're a high-end raid alliance then that's something you're going to have to do. If you're everybody else, it's something you don't have to care about. And, uh, oh, they got these charts on here, which is kind of interesting. These are the new raid rewards for each. Uh, they, they flatten this out, so you're no longer competing with your own alliance for this. But this is kind of interesting uh, that they show you this, this broken down kind of nicely. They haven't really done this as well before which uh which i like i like these breakdowns on here are pretty cool these tell you the season rewards as well and uh what you're gonna get basically just do the highest difficulty you can and in response to all the leaderboard fuckery they are now doing a tiebreaker a official way to break up ties which we have never had in this game and now we do and the official tiebreaker is going to be whoever gets the goddamn score first so this is going to benefit guys like me who end up being the point of the fucking spear. So no longer should you wait until the last day to post up your scourge scores, your tower scores, whatever leaderboard that you're on, because the guy that put up the score first is going to get the higher rewards. So I kind of like that. I think that's cool. Um, there's more anniversary events coming. They've been pretty straightforward. And that does it for the blog this week. Let's move on to some Dark Dimension planning. Now, for Dark Dimension, 
what we are going to be looking at is nodes one through three is no trait. Nodes four and five, just two nodes, are going to be city. Six and seven are going to be global. Eight and nine are cosmic. And then we have new designations here. This is gonna be something new. 10 and 11 is legendary and 12 and 13 are mythic and so we're gonna have to keep track of who is mythic and who is legendary I'm gonna just see real quick if that's actually in the game I think they have put the mythic tag in the game at least I'm hoping they have to make this easy yes mythic is in the game uh, mythic characters include Apocalypse, Super Scroll, Dormammu, Kestrel, Doctor Doom, Ultron, and Ultimus. And Mephisto, but, you know, we're not going to be able to get him because that's who we're going to go get. But you will be able to use him on that section after you do your first run. So, we, yet, we don't have a Dark Dimension 7 planner yet, so I'm going to use the Dark Dimension 6 planner. But knowing what I know about the game... We want to try to level out these tiers and start working on this. Now, of course, I am going to have to put together a new safe to build guide soon. I think this is the old one that I had. It's getting a little outdated. Uh, there's a few things on here which you probably don't. I mean, most of this holds up. I don't really know what part of this is out of date. I mean, the, the level 100 there is pretty accurate. I ended up taking quite a bit of stuff up to level 100 myself. But I don't know. This probably begs for some... Um, you probably have to look at this and adjust this out soon. We definitely have to add Cabal to it. Cabal goes on there. Cabal definitely goes on there. All right, let's have a look at City. Let's see what we are talking about for City. Now, I've said, and I believe I'm going to hold to this, I believe that this is accurate. Robbie Ray has Ghost Rider is like one of the first characters to take to gear tier 19. He's like a lock. I don't know about Hive Mind. Hive Mind is not great outside of raids. I'll need to build my Hive Mind pretty big to keep up with my alliance. We're going to be pushing those new incursion difficulties. Craven is really, really good. However, we have a new skill raid team coming like any moment now. I mean, not any moment now. I don't know how. Maybe next patch. Maybe the patch after. So I don't know if I want to dump a bunch of skill gear in here. The safest thing to do is to build Hive Mind. They're the newest team. I just don't know. Void Knight's the best character, and he's not part of this. Red Goblin feels really useless. I don't know, man. This is rough. My chat wants to know if Ghost Rider's worth building. Um, I, I think it's really just flavor text for Mephisto. You can put Ghost Rider with Mephisto and get some benefits, but I, I don't really think it's like a thing that everyone's going to do. I don't think it's going to be part of the deal. I don't know. Uh, if they, they would need a rework on top of it. We're doing Robbie. I, I don't know if I can work. I, I might have to go to other sections and come back to this because I just don't have enough. I don't know what we're going to do in here. I guess this could be where I'm putting the bio gear. I got to know how where the bio gear is going. Are we going to focus on city and put all of our bio stuff there? We have leader. Leader is bio and he's global. We got to do leader. I think leader is going to be pretty damn fantastic. I don't know if he needs to be big. Man, I'm I'm really torn on that. Um, it's rough. All right, we got a big selection of characters for global. I think we have the most characters out of any section sitting here in global. Well, we know we got to take Black Knight. We know we have to do Black Knight. He's like a guarantee. Um, you can't use... Apocalypse is now Mythic. And he's got to go, he'll go down here. I don't know how to get him, like, 
in the right spot. No, I don't want him in the global spot. I want him down here in Legendary or Apocalypse. Maybe I'll have to fill that in later. Because uh, you can't just use him um, in here. My chat is suggesting that Hive Mind is a kind of an all or nothing team. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty true. It's like you really got to commit. And that's what I'm trying to figure out is do I want to commit? Is there any other place here that I'm going to want to put that bio gear? One good character that would pair with leader very nicely is going to be uh, Abomination. However, I don't, it's not necessary. They're so good on their own. Where is Namor? Because Namor should go. I think the power of Cabal is really locked up in Namor. So wherever Namor is, I think he's global, right? So many characters I'm looking at here. He is global. So I want Namor in here. I think Namor is a fantastic character. The bigger your Namor, the way he hits with his ultimate, the bigger that is, the faster you're going to kill things. So where is Namor at? There he is. There's Namor. And he's kind of on the inexpensive side as well. He's down towards the bottom. So now we have a mutant, we have a skill, and we have a mystic. We have one of each trait so far. Extreme X-Men are really, really good. Extreme X-Men are really, really good indeed. And I'm tempted to put the mutant gear here. We're not going to have mutant and cosmic. We're not going to. We have like one mutant in city. We might take Miss Marvel Hardlight or we might skip her. Oh, down here is where I can grab Apocalypse. We have a mutant in Apocalypse, but he's dead last. And we have legendary characters here. I mean, look, you're going to want Green Goblin Cosmic. I don't know if we're going to need Bla uh, Black Cat, honestly. I don't know about that. I mean, probably. There's only so many legendary characters that we have. Most of the best characters are cl uh, classified as Mythic. Legendary characters are, we're probably going to see some more legendary characters come into the game in the coming months before we get there, before we get to the legendary section of Dark Dimension 7, there's probably going to be some more legendary characters. So I hesitate on adding a bunch of them. The only one I'm confident in is Green Goblin Classic. His value is going to hold. So, yeah, like I said, there's not a lot of spots for mutant. So I think we're going to put most of our mutant into global. We're going to start with Namor of all things, which is crazy. So uh, Gambit. Gambit, if you have a powerhouse Gambit, there are so many ways to use Gambit in this game. He is so valuable. We are going to go with Gambit for sure. Gambit is phenomenal. Nightcrawler is kind of a cheat code. I like a big Nightcrawler. Let's go with Nightcrawler. So we've got four characters. I, and these are real solid picks. Real solid picks. And this is the second section. Black Knight, Namor, Gambit, Nightcrawler. I mean, I really love that. I think we should put another mutant in here. Who is the next most impactful mutant that we're going to put out here? Who's the one we need? None of the reworks are good enough. None of the X-Men reworks are good enough to factor into this plan. They're just not. It's not exciting. It's a non-issue. It's a non-start. I, I, I forge forge ended up being better than I thought he was going to be. And so forge isn't a bad pick at all. It might end up being forge forge is going to help you out in there too. You know, we, a lot of us have diamonds on Cyclops at the, at the high end that could be helpful. But if you're using Extreme X-Men on defense for Cosmic Crucible, it's the size of your forge. 
It's the size of your Nightcrawler. It's the size of your Gambit. And it's really not much else. Like Sunspot ain't really doing it. You know, Cyclops ain't really doing it. So probably Forge, which I didn't think I would value Forge that much, but I think it's fair to do it. I mean, you can take whoever you want for this. It just the idea is you want to put all your mutants in global other than Black Knight, who's like, if you don't do Black Knight, I don't know what you're doing. You got to take Black Knight. He's crazy OP. He's nuts. We have other out of time in here. Like you could take um, Star, Star Bland. You could take Star Bland in here. I just don't know if it's necessary. You might regret it. And uh, you don't have that mutant thing to go on. You're just like going to struggle. If you're trying to plug your mutants in elsewhere, you're going to struggle. And we're looking at five mutants. One of them being Apocalypse, which you're going to do like dead last. All right, so let's move on to, um, you see, it's nice that these traits kind of line up. Like Cosmic is your mutant section, or I'm sorry, Global is your mutant section. Cosmic is your mystic. City is your bio. So you kind of have that to go on. And then you can kind of fill in with your legendary and mythic. So I guess most of our mystics are going to hit here in Cosmic. And who are we going to do? You got to do Void Knight. I think maybe we're just going to lean into Hive Mind. I think we're going to have a really big Hive Mind. Which I don't know how that's going to age. I honestly don't know how that's going to age. But I don't know what else to do. I don't know, you know how to work that out. It's going to be tricky. My chat saying Cosmic Ghost Rider. Dude, I want to do Cosmic Ghost Rider. I just don't know if the value is there. And he's high cost too. So it's not a light decision. You always have Kestrel. But I don't know about that. And there's always Tech. Tech is a good fill in too. And I want to keep some spots open for skill. I don't know, man. This is tricky. Cosmic. There's not a lot of meta cosmic right now. Cosmic's kind of gotten the, the short end of the, the straw. Kang. Kang is a staple of Cosmic Crucible, a good tech character. Yeah, I don't think we're getting away from Tang, a Kang. I, I think that's a really good idea. We're gonna bring him in. I'm gonna if I don't bring him in, you know, the comment section of this video is gonna be unbearable. Yeah, bring in Tang. Um so you can't do Super Scroll. Fuck, you can't do Super Scroll. They've given Super Scroll the mythic category. So you can't do Super Scroll. That sucks. Yeah, you're unable to bring in Super Scroll into this now because they've made him mythic and they've stated that it's non-legendary, non-mythic. So that's rough. You can't do Super Scroll. You can't do Dormammu. You can't do Kestrel. You literally can't do Kestrel. Shit, dude. All the stuff that we used to do, that is rough. That is very rough. My chat is saying Eternals never die, except they kind of have. I don't use Eternals anymore in any game mode other than like towers and whatnot. So that's rough, man. That's rough. Yeah, I don't know about Icarus, man. I put three diamonds on him. I got a lot out of him for uh, Season 5 of Cosmic Crucible. I haven't used him in Season 6. I don't know about Season 7. Shit, this is rough. I don't know, man. Um, Good Lord. We might just have to wait. I mean, look, Cosmic is the is the third section on here. Can we get a cosmic skill team? Can we get the Can we get a cosmic skill raid team? Is that possible? That's crazy. My chat has no idea what world I live in with these Eternals. My Eternals are big as hell, dude. Tier 18, all that shit. I can't use them anymore. It's room 4. Room 4 locked them out. It's either Eternals or New Warriors and New Warriors is way better. 
I don't know how you're using them, chat. I don't understand that. Jesus Christ. All right. You could take death pool. You know what? I'm going to lock in death pool. I'm going to say death pool is a solid selection. New warriors is more alive than eternals in my extremely informed opinion. I'm going with death pool. Plus, we have, you know, they're always going to take care of their characters that they make. Uh, you could bet on Kestrel. You can bet on Deathpool. I like that it's a mystic character. Vol. I don't know about Vol. I really don't. I, I don't find uses for Vol either. So I don't know about that. I'm, I'm going to put Deathpool in there, though. And I might have to hold off on a lot of this. I don't think it's right to pull the trigger on that yet. What I do know is that there's not a lot of bio. There's no bio here either, other than like Photon. And I don't think I don't want to, I don't think I want to keep going with Photon. The Photon investment has been a bust. I'm not happy with my investment in Photon and I don't want to keep going. So then that brings us over to City, man. And I mean, Red Goblin... The more power you put into them, the more you're going to get out of them. I definitely like Red Goblin better than Gwenum. Carnage is a heavy, heavy investment. So I could do Gwenum. I could do Red Goblin. I feel better about putting more power into Red Goblin than I do uh, Gwenum. Void Knight is up here in Cosmic, and I'm definitely doing Void Knight. Void Knight's a fantastic character and should be part of everybody's Dark Dimension 7 plan. The easiest section to figure out is Global right now. Global stacked. Cosmic is light, and I don't like a lot of the options. City, I, I honestly don't know how I feel about Gwenum being there. I like Red Goblin better. I like Robbie Reyes. Robbie Reyes is solid. I'm looking for stuff that I use in Cosmic Crucible. Lizard is phenomenal. I'm going to put Lizard in there. I think, and he's bio too, so it's like perfect. Lizard's got to go in. Lizard is like the powerhouse of Superior 6. Lizard's really good. So he goes in. You know, you could probably throw in Spider. Like, I hate to throw in Spider Slayer because he's really like lower tier on that team but where else are we putting tech we barely have any tech represented yeah all that buff steal from lizard he's really good so i like doing that and we're leaving a lot of spot uh, spots for skill i don't know what's going to be going on like i would throw craven in here but i'm a little worried that I'm going to use up too much skill and the skill raid team is going to hit. You know, I've never, it's never really paid off. For, it's never really paid off for me to sit here and wait for a new team to come in. Because rarely have we ever taken a full team, a full raid team to the highest gear tier immediately. There's always a standout member. So I probably don't need to sit here and save all the spots for skill gear that I am. I don't like Gwenum. I don't think she needs the power. I think Red Goblin is a good place to put uh, demonic gear. And will look cool with the red border. Look, there's that too. Red Goblin should have a red border. That's why I'm doing Red Goblin, okay? Maybe I'm stupid. But Red Goblin should have a fucking red border. Maybe that's crazy. But that's where I'm going with it. And Carnage really should too. But I don't know. It's a lot of fucking gear. So as cool as that would look, I might not do it. And then we got Vulture down here. Yeah, I like Vulture and Mysterio as well. They're both tech. I just don't know if they need the gear. I don't know if they need to be that big to do what they do. They just kind of do what they do. Craven might be a really good choice. Craven Gwenpool's down here too. A nice mystic character like Gwenpool. That's pretty fucking great. I don't know, man. You know, I only have one skill character represented. I, I think I'll just plan on it being Craven, and I'm going to try to hold off for as long as possible. 
I would love to see the skill raid team before I do this. We have very few good skill characters in the game. And I really like to see them before I put my skill selections in. But Craven is such an important part of that team. And what I like about this plan is I'm still I'm I'm gonna maintain that investment in Superior Six. I think the investment in Superior Six is going to hold. That's a very, very good Cosmic Crucible team defensively and offensively. It's very, very good. It's not going to die off anytime soon, which is probably why we're going to take Dr. Octopus into uh, into Legendary. We're probably going to keep up with that. I imagine we're going to keep up with that. And that's putting us around three bio, five mutant, two mystic, two skill, four tech. We're pretty even. We got room for some extra mystics to throw into cosmic. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. Mystics are normally cosmic. And we've got some spots over here to play with for legendary and mythic characters. We know we're going to end up putting super scroll into mythic. And he's going to take up a spot. And we know we're going to, um, you know, we probably end up doing Kestrel, Dormammu. You know, all of these are valid selections. Like, if you got to do Mythic, you're probably doing Apocalypse, Super Scroll, Dormammu, Kestrel, and probably Doctor Doom, quite honestly. I don't really think Ultron's worth it to keep up with it. We're definitely not doing Ultimus. I think that kind of does it. I think that's it. I think that's uh, that's where we're at right now. I can't really go any further than this. So the first section we're going to look at is City. And as far as City goes, I'm pretty set on bringing all that to Tier 19. Uh, the first character I'm still going to do is going to be Robbie. I think Robbie's going to be a really solid choice. It's going to be tempting to take Super Scroll up to Tier 19, but he's not even the best character. I think if you were going to do a character out of sequence here, I would do Black Knight. However, you're shooting yourself in the foot because you could do Craven instead and get into City faster. However, it might be better just to bank on Black Knight. My chat is afraid of how much miasma it will be. You know what? Get good, okay? Start buying miasma in the store now if you're worried about that. Take Doom. Take good characters. Don't take crappy characters into this stuff. They're going to run an event where Miasma is going to, Red Miasma is going to be on it at some point to get you in there. Stop worrying about it. Stop living your life in fear, okay? It's not going to help you out. So Robbie's going in. So for our first five traits, we want Robbie, who's a mystic. Probably want Black Knight. Honestly, you're probably going to want to go out of order and just grab him to keep up. You could go with Craven, but you're going to get more mileage out of Black Knight. If I had to do one bio character to start, I, I, I should do Lizard. I want to go with Red Goblin, but I should do Lizard. It's very difficult to decide between Red Goblin and Lizard. I guess for tech... You should do Spider Slayer. Spider Slayer is your tech. And then you got to toss up between Red Goblin or, or Lizard. Man, that, that's tough. You're going to... It depends. You know, since I'm in a hardcore raid alliance, I can probably do Red Goblin and feel okay about it. If you're not in a hardcore raid alliance, then you probably just want to go with Lizard. And that'll be my bio. Mystic skill, tech, bio. And then we have a mutant to play around with. So you can take a mutant. And you're probably not going to take a mutant into city unless you want to take Miss Marvel hard light. You could do that. Or you could jump out of sequence and you could grab someone from global. God damn, you could grab Namor. You could grab Namor right off the bat. I mean, Gambit's going to help you more 
Namor's probably powerful enough. I stand by Namor, but you'd probably be better off going with Gambit day one. Because he's going to help you in raids and Cosmic Crucible. Namor's only going to help you in uh, in Cosmic Crucible. But he is phenomenal. Thing is, you can probably just throw diamonds on him and call it a day. So that's the idea. That's my Dark Dimension 7 plan. At least, you know, the very, very early plan. I'm not going to put any of this gear on anybody. My strong recommendation is to wait, 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 and then wait some more. Buy your uniques. Buy miasma whenever you see it. What's even eating up all your miasma? What are you worried about with miasma? What, um, who uses miasma? Dormammu and Doctor Doom? Who else? What is this chat? What are you worried about? Why are you so afraid? I'm curious now. Where is all this miasma going? Um, uh, Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider uses it? Is that true or am I just making stuff up? Where's the rest of it going? Yeah, I don't know. Chat wants to be a dick and not really explain, so I don't really give a fuck. Get your uniques. Good luck, motherfuckers. Keep digging. This is about it. This is about as much excitement as we get. We can do a blitz run. Yeah, 15,000 campaign energy isn't going to be enough to get down to the bottom of the milestone. Yeah, I, ordered a cr I opened a crap ton of raid and blitz orbs to get my superior six. It was pretty fun. Oh, do we got, are you, are one of you here? Oh, are we blessed to have someone that demonic offends here? Are we so lucky that we have someone that, that, that objects to it being called demonic? Are we, is that what we're encountering? Amazing. Look at him, everybody. It's the one grave digger that objects. Are you kidding me, dude? Demonic fits with Mephisto. They were having fun. Calm the fuck down. God damn, nerd boy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to free to play Cosmic Ghost Rider. It's not coming this week. That kind of sucks. Yeah, it's the age of Mephisto. So they were going they were going for a theme. I called it demonic. I mean, Jesus Christ. Like, look, it doesn't fucking matter. But okay, if you want to get like super fucking nerdy about it. Basic, advanced, superior, augmented. How many fucking adjectives like that do you have? What's your, what's the, what's, what do you, where do you go? Basic, advanced, superior, augmented. I'm drawing a blank. I mean, you got to go celestial at some point. Power, uh, not of this earth, cosmic. A cosmic, right? I don't know. Cosmic, demonic. I bet, I bet cosmic was going to be above demonic. For shit's sake. Ultimate, ultimate gear? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Like, get over it. Apocalypse wears celestial armor. Yeah, I, I think cosmic. Celestial gear. Demonic. Celestial. Cosmic. You know, you, you got it like... You've already used all the... Earthly. Oh, for fuck's sake. I love it. I love it. Mephisto is this year's mystic. Mythic. The name of the gear will stay for... Oh my god, this guy. This fucking argument. What a fucking argument. But the gear is going to be for gear tier 20 and 21. Hopefully Mephisto isn't. What if it, What if their plan literally is to do a demon for three years? 
There are enough demons in the Marvel Universe that their plan could have literally been to do demons for Dark Dimension, right? Dark Dimension could have been demons for three years. You don't fucking know. So demonic could have been an amazing description for three years. Like the game's not, they don't give a shit about three years. They are not looking that far into the future. As far as we know, tier 19 is the last fucking tier because the game is going to die in a year. They're not thinking that far ahead. No one. Yeah, yeah, cry me a river. Real demons. <laughs> Jesus. The point is, is it doesn't matter. The main point is, is that it's stupid and it doesn't matter. And they were trying to have some fun. And you guys were like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. You're being stupid. They were having fun. You're being pedantic with your fucking, what about gear tier 20 and 21? So what? So they're named demonic. Who gives a shit? Red Gear came in with, well, then who the fuck are you and what are you doing? I'm here talking about, I, I'm not even talking about anything. I'm doing a fucking blitz run. I'm glad, but you are, you are putting out the dissenting take. You are opposing my statements. My statements are, I like demonic. I like the word demonic. I thought it was fun. I thought they were having a good fucking time. I think it sucks that a portion of the community had to put the brakes on that because they didn't want their characters to be demon, uh, uh, possessed by demons. They literally raged out against this because they didn't want to put demonic gear on their characters and have them be possessed by demons. That's fucking stupid and if you can't get on if you don't feel me on that bro then i don't think we're gonna have a lot in common tonight we're gonna have a rough ride dude because those aren't the kind of arguments i make when i fight with the fucking developers of marvel strike force i think it's fucking weird no don't play devils i don't need a devil's advocate motherfucker I've never asked for a devil's advocate in this channel. I have never requested that or, or liked it or condoned it or supported it. It's never happened. I've never been like, ooh, ooh, great, somebody to argue with me. Nah, not looking for it. Not looking for it. Jesus Christ. Not needed. Yeah, I would have loved if they would have doubled down and named it Satanic Gear. I mean, that'd be fucking incredible. But I mean, not necessary. Not necessary. In fact, I thought the mentions of Satan in the blog was a bit much. Yeah, you know, I was like, all right, guys, you know, you're having a good time. They are clearly having a good time with this shit. They are clearly having a blast with the Satan, Devil, Hell references. That I mean, let them have fun for fuck's sake. It's been six years of this bullshit. Let him have a good time. But no, no, we can't do that. We have to enact some kind of satanic panic, which is fucking crazy that we're in the year of our Lord 2024 and we're re we're doing a fucking satanic panic cosplay over here. It's crazy. It's crazy. There's nothing wrong with the word demonic. It shouldn't fucking shake you to your core and make you quit video games that you enjoy playing or whatever the fuck you think it does. It's crazy. Absolutely out of it, man. Yeah, no, absolutely. The developers of Marvel Strike Force, I think they would have had fun working on Midnight Suns, Ravarn. That's an excellent tip. Midnight Suns wasn't fucking demonic enough. That game did not push any envelopes whatsoever. It was the most baby fucking thing to name the gear demonic. It's not like it's not controversial at all. Yet this community is so fucking lightweight. They decided to get 
a goddamn hair up their ass about it, which is crazy. And that's why I do not usually consider myself a part of this greater Marvel Strike Force community. I am fringe, I am on the outside, and I am happy here. I have not done anything to conform to this community. <laughs> I haven't gone to any great lengths to conform to this community. Fuck that. This community is weird. They will support racists and bigots, yet they will fucking put their foot down when it comes to the word demonic. Like that's going to, you know, corrupt their mortal soul. Absurd. Like, yeah, we've got lots of demonic video games out here. I mean, look, we're literally in hell. The background to Blitz right now is fucking hell. Why don't you get worked up about that? The game you play is literally hell. Get worked up about that. Like, where do you stop? Where does it end? The word demonic is so goddamn lightweight. Why aren't you offended that we have Satan in the game now? Now Satan's in the game. You're okay with that. But you're offended at the word demonic? What the fuck, dude? Where does it end? Holy shit. Well, I'm I'm glad chat was ready for its uh <laughs> for its uh <laughs> for my feedback if they decided to come in here and play devil's advocate like I need a fucking devil dude I play Marvel Strike Force I don't need any more devils that's one of the first things I ever said doing this goddamn stream no 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 I don't need to be argued with not a fan alright so there's my fucking blitz rotation that's done and we've talked about uh, demonic already I mean the thing is is it, it becomes clear to me why I struggle as a content creator for this game. It has absolutely become clear to me that certain members of our Marvel Strike Force community are so fucking tame, they can't even handle the word demonic. So, of course, Mr. Hargrave's going to fucking struggle. He'll never be a mainstream voice in this community. He lives on the darker side. He'll never fucking make it. He's got long hair and he likes gloomy music. Well, fuck him. So, yeah, I took offense at the whole demonic backlash. Took it kind of personal. It was a strong indication to me they were rejecting me and my lifestyle. The things that I like, the Marvel Strike Force community is literally offended by to the point they will throw a fit until it is changed. So, yeah, I got a little offended, a little counter offended by that. What the fuck are you trying to say about me? I mean, we're, I'm just trying to have a good time, too. I'm not hurting anybody over here. I'm not doing any black masses. I make some dark jokes. I have some dark humor or whatnot. Can't handle me either. That's great, Marvel Strike Force community. You suck. Fuck you. It's ridiculous. Don't you fucking dare pray for me. Chat says they're going to fucking pray. Don't you fucking dare. Get me out of your thoughts and prayers. You goddamn sheep. <laughs> you goddamn sheeple. Now I'm just getting truly offensive. I do apologize, everybody. I I take it personal. Apologize. Oh my fucking god! Well, that didn't work out very well. I'm gonna need another blitz, to, another raid team to go in there. This raid boss is a bastard. Oh my god! All right, look. You started off in the red chat. You won't pump the brakes. You won't get off of it. You seem dead set to get my attention. What is it you want? 
because what you're going to get is you're going to get banned. It's coming. It's coming. I feel it coming. If that's your goal, then congratulations. You're, you're rapidly approaching it. I'm not even mad about it. I'm amused. Oh, chat wants me to check out the X-Men rework, which I've literally fucking done. Literally done that. So chat's going to also admit that it doesn't watch my videos. Is that where we're at? Is that where we're at, chat? You come in here, you want to act like an asshole and not even watch my videos. You missed, I know, everyone's missed my videos. The community was to too busy getting worked up about a fucking word for their gear. None of them watched my videos. I'm too demonic, okay? All right, well, I hope you go back to work soon and go back to work in the bowels of hell where the devil whips you. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you do. Chat. But yeah, no, the X-Men rework is bullshit. Uh, there's nothing to it. It's not good. It's not exciting. We are going to talk about Dark Dimension. I, I, the chat asked me about the incursion raid, and I read that as Dark Dimension. But we're going to talk about Dark Dimension. There's no one to use on the skill section of the incursion raid. We're still using invaders. So I think when we do Dark Dimension, we're not really going to talk about skill characters. There's going to be a new skill raid team, you know, like any moment now. So we're going to wait for that. There's no quick fix. I haven't even tried Black Knight, though. As far as I know, Black Knight will do something in the skill section. Good. I'm, I'm glad Chad asked about Dark Dimension last week. I'm going to get around to it this week. It's a better time to talk about it. I don't think we have... I don't know if we have Cabal, but we do have it in the blog what Cabal's traits are and stuff, so at, le at least we can kind of talk about that a little bit. I can earmark them or whatever. Of course... Oh my god. Look, you know who doesn't get any love chat? It's not Spider-Man has plenty of love in this game. How many Spider-Mans do we have in this game, okay? I'm actually I, you know, I my point really isn't even there because we have three Ghost Riders as well. So I think Ghost Rider and Spider-Man are equally represented in this game and you know what? That's why I still play it. I was going to say though that we need more Ghost Riders, but I'd rather have more Ghost Riders over Spider-Man any day. Who's not represented enough in this game is the devil. And we finally have one. So I'm glad. We need more demonic characters. We'll get there. I don't know. Unless everybody freaks out about it. Oh my fucking god. Uh, Spider-Man, the character himself, does suck in Marvel Strike Force right now. But uh, what are you going to do? A lot of characters stuck, suck in Marvel Strike Force right now. The goddamn Fantastic Four sucks in Marvel Strike Force right now. But who knows? Namor just got a rework. Maybe, uh, maybe Spider-Man's next. Who the fuck knows? Demons, vampires, ghost riders. I might be the CEO of Scopely this month. I might be the head of Boundless this month. It's a lot of cool stuff coming for me. I'm sorry that offends so much of the community. What can I do? I'm just trying to enjoy it. Mr. Hargrave, is it possible the legendary for the Deadpool team could be Dracula's wife? Deadpool was in a relationship with her for a while. That would be amazing. I don't know if they're going to go that deep into comic lore. I know Matt Sheets is kind of the guy that does it, though, and he's pretty into that stuff. So you never know. I'm excited about the vampire team as well, chat. But hopefully they don't make it too scary, or else the community might get a little worried. Well, what if we called it vampiric gear? Oh, that would be a problem. 
vampiric gear. I don't want to turn all my characters into vampires. That would be bad. Jesus Christ. We are approaching the end of Cosmic Crucible Season 6, and I'm on my last trial, and I got bad news for everybody who's a Mr. Hartgrave fan. I took a loss. I took a loss. There it is in Trial 2. I won Trial 1. I lost Trial 2. And the problem was is I literally got stonewalled. And boy, this thing was awful. So if you want to have a look at what happened to me, um, I, then I'd have to click the right button. Where are the results? There it is. There's the results. Um, so what happened to me was is in room number. Oh, sorry. I got the wrong thing there. In the room number three, I ran into superior six and I tried to fight it with my own superior six and I timed out. I should have started on auto earlier and I probably would have won. I had the upper hand. They were just getting so many buffs in this room. I could not get through the safeguard, the immunity, the heals. It was awful, absolutely awful. And then I was not able to clear ultimately. And um, I, I think I would have lost the round anyways. So, boy, I hope I don't run into that again. If I do, I don't really know what to do. I guess do it faster is the idea but okay let's try to win this round and the first thing i'm going to do what i've normally been starting off with is looking where i can use new warriors and i'm not really sure where i want to go with new warriors i know they can actually take out extreme in six i have had success using new warriors um against x-men and dormammu uh usually i can do it with a 20 point turn bonus potentially so they do rip right through this. They do go right through that. They can also do Darkhold. They can also go right through Darkhold. They really... Can they do Secret Defenders? Chat, does anyone know how New Warriors works on Secret Defenders? I think I've tried it. I think I have done New Warriors. I have done it on Secret Defenders to a 19-point turn bonus. So New Warriors can take out Secret Defenders. I don't know if I've messed around with it in room one. I know room one here, unlimited X-Men. This is typically something I do with, um, I do with masters of evil and I have them all set up as skirmishers and raiders. Cause this seems to be a go-to. This seems to be the standard room. Number one is to put unlimited X-Men in there. And then put extreme this, this defense is pretty much typical for this season. And boring season's been very boring i don't know if anybody else feels that way about this season but i certainly do this season has been a snore fest all right so let me go ahead and go in here and uh do this this is what i always do it always works out what kind of turn bonus am i looking at on this i am going to be looking at a 19 point turn bonus none of my efficiency numbers are where i feel they should be my chat says, fuck this season, and I agree. Fuck this season. This season's ridiculous. All right, I believe this is unavoidable. Yeah, I'm going to throw this ability block on Dazzler, although I don't even think I need to. I think she dies normally before her turn, but we'll go ahead and throw that on there. And then who am I going to... I'm going to get rid of all this barrier over here and hit Gambit hard okay i guess i'm hoping that they drop kang below 50 percent health i should put kang behind absorbing man that's a little risky but maybe it'll work out i don't know nobody sets up their isotope eight properly on this room which is ridiculous it's like a real weird room i mean gambit's always set up right he's always a raider so you got to be careful. You don't want to drop him under health. What am I doing with this? Clear all negative effects. Clear all. Po I can't clear the positive effects. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do the special so I get the taunt. Plus, I can't do anything that the ultimate even does. 
That's all right. I keep people away from Kang so that I can Kang ultimate. It's all about the Kang ultimate. That's going to pretty much end this. Yep, it's over. Now it's just a lone gambit. And I want to kill him before his turn because he is awful right now. He's got that um, attack. He's got 200% attack boost. But that's okay. My Kang has turn advantage and it's over. It's ugly, but it's over. And it is weird seeing Kang not do his Isotope 8 atta attack chat. It's upsetting. I don't like it. I mean, I probably could have left him as Striker because he never actually dropped health underneath. He never actually got the attack bonus, but whatever. I think we're going to do the Symbiote team on Infinity Watch. I'm pretty much, that's pretty much my go-to is uh, Symbiotes and uh, Superior Sinister Six. Sinister Six Hive Mind on Infinity Watch. It works. I think they can do other stuff too. What else can they do? Um, they can do Dark Hold, but like at the same efficiency level. So they can take out Dark Hold, but it's like at the same 16 point turn bonus. It's not better necessarily. And not a lot of things can do this. So we're going with this. All right, let's go ahead and do this. It's 20 point efficiency without Carnage. I mean, I think I can get 20 points with Carnage. I think it's actually the same. Red Goblin is the good one. Infinity Watch still don't take a turn even with uh, even without Carnage around. That's wild. Because you got Vulture. Vulture's already there to do stuff. You definitely want Red Goblin, though. Red Goblin eats through. Does a lot of damage. He's very important. You want the Mysterio clones to go more, right? Because they um, they don't count. Their turns don't count. So it's good if you can get them to do stuff. Let's see. Let's go ahead and rip these death proofs off. That'll help them die a little better. Nice. And yeah, we want this immunity down or the disrupt down there. So that they don't get more death proofs. Ah, we're getting there. We're getting there. And now it's just a Gamora. Who will die to a vulture? No close. Red Goblin will do the final honors. And I don't know. Is that 19 points or 20 points? I don't know what it was. Hmm. So you did it with 10 turns. So what was the team? What was the team that you ended up using? Uh, 17 points. So it actually took me a little longer than I would have liked it to. So you drop Carnage and you put in Venom. So this team with Venom instead of Carnage or Gwen. Vulture, Mysterio, Venom, Red Goblin, Void Knight. Does Venom hit harder? He would be able to take all those buffs or all the debuffs and spread them around, I guess. I don't know. Seems like Carnage is one of the hardest hitters, though. But he's going to give them more turns. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to depend on the size of the Infinity Watch, too. That was a gigantic Infinity Watch. That was an absolutely mammoth Infinity Watch. At almost 1.9 million. It was gigantic. Venom has the highest damage. Well, maybe I'll have to get Venom in there. He speeds up, though, every turn, too. I don't know. It's goofy. So, what are we going to do now? Uh, new Warriors. I need to send new warriors. I can either send it at Secret Defenders or I can send it at X-Men. Let me compare my notes. Uh, let's go ahead and look at my notes. 
and we can figure out what I'm going to use. This is what it comes down to. I got to utilize it. So I have my data now. Now I need to utilize my data. These are my attacks. I can either use new warriors on Dormammu, uh, X-Men Dormammu for a 20 point turn bonus or secret defenders for a 19. I could use, uh, I don't know what else I can use on this. I can't use Masters of Evil. I can't use, I can use Superior 6. I can use Superior 6 on, um, I don't know. I've never really thrown them at Secret Defenders. I usually throw them at X-Men. And that gets me a 22. So if I throw secret, if I throw superior six at this team, I'm going to get better efficiency. So it's probably what I'll do. And then I can just throw new warriors at secret defenders. It's gonna, it's not going to do as well, but it's so close. It's only one point difference. And I don't know what else I'm going to throw at Secret Defenders. Normally, I throw Apocalypse and Scroll at Secret Defenders because they're in room four. But here they've moved them around. So I think the move is going to be Superior Six here, New Warriors over here, Secret Defenders on Darkhold, and uh, Apocalypse over there. That's That's pretty much it. Pretty much my round. It's it's real the same. It's real samey. Just real pretty much what I've done every single round since this thing has started, basically. All right, let's go. You've been using Superior 6 on the Black Knight rooms, even in room number 4. I don't like Superior 6 in room number 4 because they don't get that Goblin Ultimate. Kind of sucks. That's interesting. You could put in Shocker. You could put in more Sinister Six into the Infinity Watch. Shocker might be kind of smart to give them all offense up. Just kind of try to buff Red Goblin. That's interesting. I'm not using Eternals anymore, so chat wants to know where I'm using Eternals, and I'm not. I actually got no use for them. They don't do anything for me. They don't really serve. It's either Eternals or New Warriors, and I find I just use New Warriors. Doesn't really work out. It's odd, but it's true. You could put your Eternals on defense or just don't use them. Ah, it's, it's awkward. It's, it's weird. I, I, I was, I'm surprised. I don't even have them on defense. I'm not using them in any way, shape, or form. I think I'm just going to put the extra damage on Black Cat. I think we got Robbie. Yeah, we got Robbie. And Gwenpool. This is brilliant. I love how well this works. On such a good team like Secret Defenders and New Warriors just still rips it up. That should end it? That ended. No. This will end it. Done. All right. So I don't know about the, t I don't even need to, I don't even need to write down these attacks anymore. I just can eyeball them. It's that bad. I, we asked for, you know, more freedom in Cosmic Crucible and I feel we got less. I feel like this community has no idea what it's asking for when it asks for things. So hollow, I mean, give it a shot and let me know. Extra 20% damage. So Shocker's passive plus Red Goblin. 85% extra attack damage for putting Shocker in? I mean, you kind of sold me. So Shocker instead of Carnage. Do what I do, but Shocker instead of Carnage. I got to look at this. Man, I wish I would have done that today. I'm excited about it. That's actually kind of fun. Where is this Sinister Six at? 
I've got diamonds on him too. He's real low. He's real low. I'd have to bring him up significantly. Plus Sinister Six allies gain 20. That's crazy. Oh, Red Goblin would slap. This is kind of brilliant. Why didn't I think about this until now? Brilliant, Hollow. Very good. Wow. Wow. Can new warriors beat Infinity Watch in room six? I mean, I think they can. It's just really slow. But I don't know. Maybe not either. They're really, they really suck. Infinity Watch really sucks. On spawn, everybody gets offense up for two turns. God damn. And Sinister Six allies get 25 plus 25% damage. That's a lot. And then on his first turn. He would generate one ability energy. And you can have him do offense up to everybody again. And then you can have him hit subsonic blast on everybody. Oh, God, he's really good. It's really good. Yeah, they released a blog today talking about gear tier 19. It is going to drop later on today. All right, man, I really got to consider doing this shocker thing. It would really help. I think it would really help. To throw Shocker into that madness. Shocker, Void Knight, Red Goblin. That's all the damage. Vulture. So is Vulture better or is... Yeah, I guess Vulture is better. You want the Sinister Six to take turns. That's crazy. You want to increase the damage while decreasing the number of turns. Correct. That's amazing. So people are losing even though their opponents are not even taking a turn. You can lose to Infinity Watch without it ever taking a turn. Just because it's such a wall. There's still 23 days for the season. So I don't know, man. I'm definitely considering throwing Shocker into this mix. That is very interesting. It's a very interesting thing that you are proposing. I'm very curious about that. If only there were a test server that could be used to test this out before I invest a bunch of resources into a shocker. I wonder if... Huh. Now, if there were a test server that, say, someone could access, that... You know, where you had the ability to invest in things that, you know, you, you, you could kind of free up your resources and try something out, say, in an active round of Cosmic Crucible. I mean, I don't know who would have access to that sort of thing. Just hypothetically. Hypothetically, if there was a test server, could you go test that out? Now, of course, if you had access to a test server, you wouldn't be able to stream it. But could you use a test server while you're streaming? Like, but not show it? Is that possible? Could you talk about a test server, perhaps, while not showing it, while on stream? I've heard, I guess we've heard that other content creators have. <laughs> so maybe today, more content creators will do that. Subject to change, allegedly. Because I want to know about this shocker thing, and you want to know about this shocker thing, and we don't necessarily want to wait another week, do we? So, let's say, hypothetically, I was over in the test server, and let's say I had a Infinity Watch team that I could fight. And let's say I had access to take a shocker. Let's go ahead and just go and... Uh, now, Shocker's with the 
Sinister Six. And if I had a level 65 shocker like I do, let's say we brought him up to, oh, level 95. I would bring him up to level 95. And I would upgrade him to tier 15. I think tier 15 is fine for that. I think that's what I would do. I think you would also need Isotope 8 level 5. I think Striker is what you would want him to be. I mean, Shocker can hit pretty hard. So I think level 5 Isotope, or level 5 green. I don't know about blue, level 4 blue. He's a blaster. We typically have, we should have enough crystals to take him up. Because I'm very curious if we can just get a better efficiency score right now by using Shocker. And yeah, let's go ahead and... I Now, I'd like to take him up to Isotope 8. You know what? I'm just going to do Isotope 8 level 3 blue. That's what I would do. I would take him up to level 3 blue Isotope. I would love to take him to level 5 a Shocker. Hypothetically, my Shocker someday. I would love to take him to level 5 blue to get that extra attack damage but let's just see what he does he's got to do better than carnage all right so let's put that on there and then let's go ahead and we need to do his passive tier four you would need to do his passive tier four you would need his ultimate tier four and you would need his special tier four i don't think you would need his basic he does a lot of piercing, though. But let's leave off the basic for now. Let's leave off the basic for now. Level five, level 95, tier 15, level 3, blue, isotope, 8, striker, 1 diamond. That's, in theory, what we would be testing. That's, in theory, what we would be testing on, on, on the test server. That's what I would test. If I was going to test it on the test server at some point in time, that's what I would do. And I would go into uh, room number three with Infinity Watch. People usually put Infinity Watch in number three. And I would select my normal symbiote team that I just used. And instead of Carnage, I would then put in Shocker. And I would test on the test server, you know, if I was offline and not streaming. I would show you this. And I would put Shocker in here. And the funny thing is, is I could record it later and make a video about it. But I just can't stream it, which is odd because, you know, I mean, in theory, I could just hit, I could just click fight right now on it and show the fight to you and be a more entertaining streamer, which would help me out and help them out hypothetically. But let's just, this is stay in the realm of hypo, you know, hypothetical realm. And let's just say I clicked fight with this uh, combination of Mysterio, Vulture, Red Goblin, Shocker and Void Knight. Let's just say that I did that. If I had done that, wow, I wonder how it would come out. I wonder how that would go. That would be odd. It would be very odd to see how that would go. I would like to I would like to know how that went. I would like to show that to you. I, I mean, I would love to be that kind of streamer. Unfortunately, you know, I've been told I can't stream the test server. I could stream you footage from the test server. If I had made a video about this, I could play it for you. But yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. So I would say hit the person in the middle with Vulture, right? That, I'm, just, I'm thinking through how I would make the attack. And I typically want to get all the debuffs right in the middle. And I would hit Void Knight right in the middle. And I'm kind of, I'd be waiting to see when Shocker would take a turn. I believe Shocker would take his turn right after Void Knight. And then he could hit his special. And that would give everybody offense up. And then after that, I think the Mysterio clones would get to go. And that could be good. Because when the Mysterio clones go, they don't really take uh, turns. They don't count as turns. And you could spread that damage around and start putting that out there. And then I think after that, what you would have is then you would have Mysterio go. And you could have Mysterio use his ultimate, which would be nice. And then Red Goblin would probably get a turn and he would be loaded up with buffs. 
right? Red Goblin would probably, in theory, be loaded up with a bunch of buffs, and he could hit his ultimate, and it could pretty much almost kill everybody, but nobody would be dead yet. Everybody would be standing, but it would be perfectly well-timed for Shocker to use his ultimate and hit everybody because Void Knight had pulled them together, and since he's a striker, he would double tap, and let's say at that point, everybody would die once. At that point, what I think would happen is everybody would be dead and you'd be left with a Gamora and an Adam Warlock probably. Is probably what would happen at that point. Is you would be left with a Gamora and an Adam Warlock and then you could use the Void Knight special to kind of take their health down and uh, you could use a Vulture special and kill Gamora and then you'd just be left with an Adam Warlock. You would have an Adam Warlock and it would be Mysterio's turn is what I would think it would be if I were to do it, which I wouldn't do. I wouldn't use the test server on stream because, you know, that would be weird and wrong, you know, because yeah, it wouldn't be right to do that. But if I were to do that, I would just use the basic on Mysterio and kill Adam Warlock and the fight would be over is what I would do. But I wouldn't I wouldn't use the test server live on stream because I've been told not to for, I'm sure, very good reasons. Um, so that's, yeah, it's amazing how I'm able to do that all in my head. I, I am a Marvel Strike Force genius. And then what I would look at, what I would look at the efficiency on that. And you see, I would find out that it's actually 19 points. I think what I would find out at that point that the efficiency on that attack would be about 19 points. And I'd really have to wonder if it was worth dumping all those resources into Shocker, especially the tier fours. So I don't really know. I don't really know if uh, if that would be worth it. All those tier fours into shocker for uh, for 19 points. So I don't know, guys. Um, I don't know how we feel about that. I don't know how we feel about that. But it was a good thought experiment, and I'm glad we talked about it. And I'm glad I was able to work it out in my head. So I didn't waste my own resources trying it. And I'm glad I avoided streaming the test server so I don't get into trouble with this Envoy program that I respect so much. It's amazing. Yeah, it seems like that attack would be fun to try someday. Next time I'm on the test server, I'll have to give it a run and I'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, compared to Hollow Lord's 20 points, theoretically, uh, that would be a dumb move. So maybe just put Venom in? I guess the trick is just to put Venom in. But I did see you can do it without, like, I am thinking you can do it without uh, Carnage. I'm thinking that that's true. I'm thinking that Infinity Watch don't get a turn just from the Vulture. So you really don't need the Carnage there. You could probably drop Venom in and you would be fine. You would probably be absolutely fine. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and switch that team up uh, to, to put Venom on it. And then I'll try that one next time. Your Venom's gear tier 18. I mean, mine's close. I've got him at tier 17. I didn't quite go all the way for him. I mean, my Carnage has so many diamonds. I have a three diamond Carnage. Maybe I'll just stick with what I got. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Maybe it's fine. I mean, is, is he really going to be better like, then a three diamond, like, forget Shocker. <laughs> Sorry, forget Shocker. But yeah, my Carnage is really big. I don't know if my Venom is going to do more. I don't know. I've got no diamonds on my Venom. I got no diamonds on my Venom. I don't know. It's about the same. It's about the same no matter what you do. That's the thing. It doesn't... It, Red Goblin is the part that you want to have. You want to have the Red Goblin. You do want that. All right, let's go into room number four. And I usually like to do uh, Apocalypse on this just to make sure. I don't like to mess around with this. There's no reason to mess around with this. So, yeah, we're not going to mess around with this. We're going to go for it. What a thought experiment. What a wild thought experiment we just had.
totally hypothetically. All right, let's go ahead and I just like to basic right here, get all the buffs, get some of the buffs off of Black Knight. Black Knight's so annoying. You suck, Black Knight. You suck. All right, Red Hulk. I will just remove some turn bar from Black Knight. Can you even remove turn bar from Black Knight? I don't know, man. Black Knight is like resists everything, can't be killed. All right, Ultimate from Apocalypse. There, now he's dead. Brilliant. Black Knight, he won't die. The pings from Archangel would not kill Black Knight. Oh my god, Black Knight. Finally, the bleeds got him. What is up with Black Knight, dude? Black Knight's awful. 450 damage or five, uh, 375. Okay, yeah, the ultimate's going to do more damage. And somehow it did not kill Peggy, but the Archangel will. All right, that one's done. Easy stuff. All right, let's go. Hollo, I'm sorry I missed your comment. If you want to screen capture your comment and then message it to me on Discord, that might be the best way to go. I kind of stay out of my comments. I, I like to read the nice ones, but I'm just so over most people in there. I'm tired of the mean people. I'm not doing it. And this is going to be Secret Defenders. Um, Secret Defenders with Vol. Yeah, I think Secret Defenders with Vol. That's the way to go. And then Superior 6 on Room 6, and we'll see what kind of efficiency we got. We'll see what we got. I would love, like, a better way... To, uh, man, I'm glad we can talk about the X-Men thing right now. Because that was very disappointing. If there was one thing the X-Men rework could have done, it's give us a way to beat Infinity Watch. I'm so upset that it doesn't. And there's no version of it that does. Like, people were, like, being dicks in my comments about it. Like, he used bad the bad team. He used the bad version of the team. Like, what the fuck is the good version of the team, dude? There's no good version of the that team. Like, tell me the best X-Men Cosmic Crucible offense team. What the fuck is it now? With all the reworks. Does it involve any of the reworks? Like, maybe situationally, maybe Jubilee. Maybe. Maybe. You would use her for certain attacks. But that's always been the case. You've always situationally plugged in Jubilee sometimes, maybe. Nothing's changed there. The rework didn't do anything. So I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. Phoenix is the exciting one for me. She gives out the big damage bump. Big damage bumps are exciting. Can this team die already? I feel like I should be done with this attack already. All right, and Doctor Strange is out. Okay, there it is. Not a Discord channel, just message it to me. Just personally message me the thing. Not a, I don't, I'll tell people about it if it needs to be told. <laughs> Just don't want to ignore your comment. All right, I'm going into room six with Superior Six. Yeah, Phoenix is still slow. And she's also broken. Like, nobody cares that she's broken either. She was clearly broken, right? Well, I guess she works as intended, but I don't think she works the right way. She should cleanse. She should throw the debuffs off of her onto other people. Take everyone's trauma and then give it to other people. You know, 
do Dark Phoenix things. Crazy. All right, thank you, Hollow. Oh my god. All right, we're finally bringing this round of Cosmic Crucible to an end, and we're going to bring this live stream to an end. Yeah, no red stars on Dark Phoenix, no blue, Isotope A, just like ridiculous. So stupid. She shouldn't give herself trauma. Yeah, right. Something's, uh, something's weird about it. It's not right. All right. And we are going to go into Dormammu. We want them to take turns. We want them to take turns so they get rid of those revives. And I'm going to go ahead and ability block Forge. I want Forge to take a turn, but not like a good turn. And now I'm done with him. I'm done with Forge. Pretty much done with all of them. Now they can all have a turn. I don't care. I'm going to kill Dormammu, though. Dormammu just needs to flat die. That bleed should get him. Maybe a counterattack. Yeah, I love when they take a turn and then get pinged by a uh, red, uh, red green goblin. Okay, yeah, fine, whatever. Boom, gone, dead. Ooh, Sunspot gets a turn. Not the kind that I wanted him to get. Cool. Nightcrawler came in, got blasted. Cyclops got deaded. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and try to get these evades off of Nightcrawler. Try to put the death status on Nightcrawler. Yes! We got it. And here goes final turn. There it is. Let's see what kind of points we got. That is it for this round. This whole trial Cosmic Crucible week is concluded. I'm sorry I didn't film any of it, but it was all pretty boring other than me getting like stuck on Superior 6. All right, we got a 5184. I will take it, everybody. That is awesome for me. I love it. Keep digging. Another week of Cosmic Crucible has gone by, and here is how it is shaking out. Uh, so offensively, I've been using Secret Defenders on Darkhold, and I've been getting pretty good efficiency doing that. I've been using this Hive Mind Sinister Six combo, mostly on Infinity Watch teams. Superior Six. I've been floating around a lot this week. I ended up using Superior Six on Darkhold, on a Mirror Match on Superior Six, and losing on X Men Dormammu teams. And um, I've been using. I haven't been using Eternals at all. I know my chat. Might want to fucking harass me about that and tell me what a fucking dumbass I am for not using Eternals. However, I just haven't been doing it. I have not seen an opening for it. It's either been New Warriors or Eternals, and I've been using New Warriors all the way. So I've been using Masters of Evil, and uh, they have been cleaning up X-Men teams. And then New Warriors, have. it's been turned out that they can just jackknife into anything. New Warriors can literally beat anything that isn't in room number four. Room number four is really fucking up my eternal plans. And then in, in room six, it's been like an apocalypse scroll team. And I've been taking out um, anything in room four with apocalypse and scroll. My defensive teams have uh, seen better days. I did make a switch this week. So instead of new Avengers and Nick Fury in room three, I went ahead and put in extreme X-Men. And then over in room four, I did New Avengers and Black Knight. And so far, that hasn't really panned out. I'm not sure why my New Avengers and Black Knight isn't kind of wrecking more havoc. Got a pretty big Black Knight, but it's not really doing anything for me. Maybe we'll see how that performs next, next week. But right off the bat, it seems like maybe Extreme X-Men in room four was doing a little better. And uh, maybe just having new Avengers in room three wasn't a bad move at all. So I don't really know what's going on with that. Infinity Watch is still holding up very well. Pegasus is still holding up very, very, very well. I think the only wins I got this week were off of my Darkhold in room one and my Infinity Watch in room six, which is really odd, but uh, they're pretty big teams. And so I guess they have been sneaking up on people. 
As far as the last round, I actually ended up in a fucking tie. We had the same exact points, and uh, the tiebreaker system determined that I lost. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I was only able to win one out of my three rounds. I am still holding here in uh, in Diamond 2, but um, I don't know. Next week is going to determine whether I drop down to Diamond 1 or raise up to Diamond 3. And uh, that's it, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Addicted to Marvel Strike Force. I don't even know what else to say about it at this point other than keep digging.